you saw her little group of kids walking around town and I would look out the gas station out my department window and there she'd be walking across the street with her friends, you know, it was, it was not uncommon to see her um, in the area. My daughter did that too at that age. June 26, 2009, what's a fun summer night? Time to go out and play. Hot, it was a really hot day that day. It was kind of off the record hot that year. She had been hanging out with her friends. They, one of the other girls in town that lived just up the street from us had a pool in their backyard. They spent the day there swimming. They came back and forth to my house several times, but most of the day they were hanging out over there and, and swimming and just enjoying being out of school. They wanted Michaela to stay with us. She had stayed the night before. So their plan was they were going to go down to Michaela's to get some clothes because they thought she was going to stay the night with us again. She went with her brother Josh and uh, for some reason they got into a tiff and uh, he ended up going back home. For whatever reason, once they got to Michaela's house, Michaela was told no. They were going somewhere the next day or something, so she wasn't able to. Lindsay headed home alone. Here in the Northwest, the sun just does not set until way late. So even nine o'clock, it's sun's still high in the sky and it starts to get towards dusk as you get towards 10 o'clock. But in the summertime, kids are out running around. People are out mowing their yards uh, late at night because it's still sunny. She never left her cell phone ever, except for that night. She had left it on the charger and she usually took our German Shepherd but that night she didn't, they were in a hurry because she needed, she wanted to get back before dark. They were just gonna go down, get Michaela's clothes and come straight back. She should have been back in 20 minutes tops. It's a relatively straight shot from where she was to her home. McLaren's a small town, so you know, it was eight to 10 blocks exactly to her house. She always came home when she was supposed to. She checked in like she was supposed to. She had a cell phone. So if I couldn't find her, I'd call her. But she was always home, you know, before dark. I always knew where she was. I kept calling Lindsay's cell phone, and at that point I hadn't realized it was in her bedroom, plugged in. And so I kept calling her, you know, like, Lindsay, hurry up and get home, where are you at? Once it got dark, after 10 o'clock, that's when things got serious, and Melissa decided it was time to call the McClary Police Department. That's when I really started to panic, because I knew she wouldn't just be out after dark. That, that just wasn't her. She didn't like to be outside after dark. So I knew at that point something wasn't right. I remember the moment when it sunk in that somebody had stolen my child. She walked her normal route down the street and gone. How could that happen in that short distance? where everybody knows everybody in a small town. It's just amazing what a split second can do. Somebody out there knows what happened. The person that did this is still out there. Just one little break and they can solve this. The truth always comes out.